with Christine Bentley and Ken Shaw. Good evening. Environment Minister Jim Bradley has announced a project to remove lead-contaminated soil from properties in South Riverdale. CFTO's Ken Sherman reports. There was an air of celebration at the opening of the South Riverdale Lead Project Community Office, a feeling that a 15-year battle had been won. Environment Minister Bradley announced that all residential properties in the area with lead levels of 500 parts per million or more will have the soil replaced. He estimated that 1,000 properties will qualify. The city and Metro have agreed to help fund the project, but the minister said Canada Metal Company, the source of the lead, has not yet agreed to make a meaningful financial contribution. He said that court action could result. That's very difficult to say, and I wouldn't want to prejudge what the company may wish to do in the next uh, a short period of time. But if we have no indication of participation of any significant size, we would certainly be going to court. The project will begin in August and will be completed next year. Resident Anya Suttle is delighted. Oh, I'm so relieved. It's an immense relief to feel that the soil is finally going to be going because it's a horrible feeling to sort of just be watching him all the time and stopping him doing what kids do normally, which is sort of getting down into the mud. Children in the area have significantly higher blood lead levels than other urban youngsters. The soil will be taken to landfill sites where it can't harm any children. The bill could be $6 million. Ken Sherman, CFTO News.